definitely the man I saw last night. But how? Grandfather Edward died before I was even born. Then he'd be in his 70s if he was still alive. Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel. I am your host, the Scarecrow. Welcome back to our playthrough of Black Mirror. This is part four. If you've missed any pieces up until this point, go ahead and click the link up in the corner. You can be taken to the playthrough, uh, I'm sorry, the playlist, where you can see any parts that you might have missed. In the meantime, let's find some more spooky stuff. Okay, so when we last left off, David here took a little spill down the stairs after seeing what I have gathered is a ghost or, or a past memory of something of his father and his grandfather because it was the guy from the painting. So let's press on. Go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there, a big one too. They're crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Scrambled eggs with deer brain. Alrighty then. Don't eat. Eat. Okay. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. I wonder if he should should not eat dinner. Mother breakfast? was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. Huh. Okay. What was the point of that? That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Alrighty then. I wonder if the food was poisoned. I mean, why else would they give you an option to eat or not to eat, you know? Probably gonna, like, hallucinate. And that might have been what was up with his father, too. I mean, the opening scene, he didn't really see anybody else until the very end. Given the painstaking process surrounding their creation. Someone who was really pissed off about it? Wonder how many pieces of this photograph I need. Yes, Master David? You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. Swaziland? You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. May I ask... The maid. She seems nervous. Almost nervous. afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. <sighs> you don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. And yet I think you just did say. Uh. If I gave him the earring, he'd use it as an excuse to torment the maid. Not that I'd ever gain his trust. He's clearly loyal to Lady Margaret. Uh, yeah. How many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Not many for that such a big work. house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course... 
Not everyone is suited to work in this house. Well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. Good day to you. The butler did it. This motherfucker's hiding something for sure. Smoking a pipe? I thought that would be beneath her station. Oh, pipes are elegant. Not. Uh, Lady Margaret. Sidle over to the couch. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. Okay. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome, and caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, those notes in his desk didn't seem like he was a caring the person. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. The curse, curse. of the Gordons? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? I could use this to earn her trust. Mm. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David. The master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. A cabinet? I am i don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know anything about it. I see. Never mind, then. Well, if he's the owner of the house, it's his fucking cabinet, isn't it, Grandma? I would have given the earring to the old lady so that she'd leave the goddamn maid alone. Oh. Quick camera work. So I guess we gotta go find the maid. Is she in the basement? To the basement! Aha! I hath found her. Stick her in the, uh... Stick her in the dumbwaiter. Uh, Miss Cranon? Blood? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the oh. wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. No, you, uh, you were asked a question. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want to talk about it, sir. 
I notice the attic door is locked. You'd best ask Angus, sir. I hardly go up there. The mere mention of the attic terrified her. What is in there? I guess we're going to the attic. I think next. you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Yeah, for sure. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, but how can I convince her to trust me? Well, if the earring didn't do it. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet, and you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. I shall leave you to your work. Hmm. Dilemma's dilemma. So do I head to the basement? Which I believe is that door over there, or do I try getting in the attic with that special key that I found in the, uh, in the, uh, snake desk? Thoughts? Shall we? Right. To the basement, I guess. sideways I see so that's how we get into the locked basement we say hey I'll go with you Lar peekaboo okay what the hell am I supposed to find in the basement to the basement oh yummy what the hell is that thing? Alrighty, well this is productive. What's that on the floor? Looks like a random knife. Oh, it's a stone. Oh, are we not in the basement yet? Let's see what we can find down here. E examine. Examine the maid. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Really? This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. Alrighty then, let's examine the maid. <sighs> How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. Yep, he looks like a sack of shit. Yeah, I smell a rat. Like. Alright, so I went all the way over there to grab a fucking candle. And then just wander around the goddamn basement? Oh, now I can examine things because I can see? Whatever Not you say. the most hygienic workstation. Hmm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the Gordon estate. Uh-oh. Looks fresh. Uh, fresh. Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie? Eddie. Who's Eddie? Another family member I've yet to meet. I see. Ooh, a lot of blood for just one animal. <laughs> what, you don't think the animal can hold that much blood? 
Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. And magic tricks. The water of life. Some of these whiskies are from local distilleries. Okay. So I was to look around and find something to take out the spiders. Come on, get off the... Hmm. Yeah, it looks like that was it. Just, uh... Even though I've lit the place up now. Aye, aye. Alright, let's burn us some spiders. Spookiness. Burn. Step Hold right on. up. Sir, what are you... D oh my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, yeah, does but that the... not hurt? No, a little trick I learned in India. Uh, the spider webs are still there. Oh, oh, random deer head. Sorry, Alrighty then. Did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think. Huh. And you are? Edward Mallory. You may call me Edward the Third. So this is Cousin Eddie. He seems. Welcome to my castle. Oh boy. As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door and nails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, yeah, for sure. why didn't you ask me? Kids Excuse me, sir. Sirs, I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Or was it something I said? No, it was your face. They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. Oh, you Jesus said Christ. something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh, you don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. Yeah, me too. I mean, seriously. Seems like these people drove uh, drove his father to the loony bin or whatever. Uh, uh, She's a lot of talking. There's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I. Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library. At last, I might get some answers. No, nope, because she's gonna be dead. Quest log updated, huh? Fuck, which one is it? Hello? Damn you. Who was the boy? He was your father, you moron. Seriously. Anyway, as I was saying, so yeah, the... the the group of them probably drove his father to the loony bin, if you will. I don't know, probably something about the castle history or some shit we don't know. I mean, this turd thinks he owns the fucking thing. So I didn't get the chance to put the piece in, but I don't get to still. Because that 
boy showed up whatever memory so are we done with this silly model let's oh. see if my trusty key will get this open <sighs> not like this already there we go oh you fuckers so look at that key it's missing a piece that's the problem I need to find the missing piece of this fucking key I've never seen a key like this before it feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret for sure yeah so shit I must have to find the missing piece of that goddamn key I mean that's the only thing that makes any sense I tried every possible combination to with that key switching it around and shit so there must be a piece missing the problem is where the fuck do I look for it well, this is a different room I don't know if I've been in this room what do we got I'll give that a spin later an impressive collection grandmother's obviously a music lover Jesus, an old ass gramophone with wax cylinders. This will make it easier to carry. The boy. It? it must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? So, and who's the girl? Not to mention the old man up in the corner. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in... Blood? In blood? Okay, the painting just called to you? Beware the bairns. Oh, what do we got going on here? I'm confused. Oh, I gotta keep mashing it, you fuckers. Well, ghouls and goblins. Things are certainly looking pretty shady. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone in this castle is trustworthy at all. Whether or not the ghosts are real or up to be uh, up for debate. But uh, that's all the time I have for now as I'm due back out in my field. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. And click the little bell underneath the video so you can be notified the next time that we upload some more pieces to this spooky mystery. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>